What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of JNB Tuning. Today is a day that we are going to be louder than usual guys. While the golf art is going to get some upgrade, uh, it's up in the lift now and uh, we will be working on upgrading our cutback system. As you guys know, I have been riding the, um, the stock exhaust system that we have here. Uh, paired with our resonator delete which is pretty good because it does help from giving us some sound a little bit than usual but guys now that we are tuned stage one with EQT I figured we should start enjoying some of that verbal sound uh, until it lasts at some point in time it's gonna get uh, it's gonna get old guys so uh, you know as much as possible now I'm gonna enjoy some of that verbal sounds and then Later on, we'll turn it off, but at the same time, guys, might as well make it as loud as we can. Um, you know, subtle loudness, that is. I don't want it to be a uh, loudness that uh, causes the neighbor to hate me. So anyways, guys, we'll give this new product a try, and uh, pretty soon here, I'm going to show you guys what it is, basically. Mm. everyone as it is obvious from the uh, b-roll guys uh, you know that uh, it is a cutback system here that we have it's an AWE switch path um, it's one of the best or could be one of the best exhaust system out there and um, it is awesome guys I would like to give this a try and uh, see how this goes with the uh, the, the tune that we have um, can't wait to install it and finally get rid of this um, stock system that we have here most definitely so anyways guys stay tuned here are the tools we need so far we got our um, impact here with a 3 8 uh, extension um, ratchets here three eighths and a small one um extension as well we got a uh, 11 mil on on that and i have a i believe this is 13 and 15 mil so basically um we will need 15 for those and then uh, the two the 13 and our 11 are for the um, the AWE bolts basically there guys clamps and a bunch of clamps and the whole nine yards so anyways guys we'll uh, start working on this um, it's fairly straightforward I know you guys have seen many videos on how to dismantle this thing basically we'll just get the hanger out um, instead of trying to pry it out or might as well just take the whole thing down and then work on it from the from the ground um, I'll be undoing pretty much this clamp and that clamp um, and hanger here as well and another hanger up here so yeah pretty much this is what we need to do to get this thing off and then uh, we shall enjoy all right stay tuned
our stock exhaust is all off now guys as you guys can see uh, it's now you know pretty much clear to get those things in so anyways we will uh, install this shortly so we pretty much have a extension cord here to extend one of those to be able to tap into our um, um, valve opener there so anyways guys we are going to try and install those once now and uh, you will see it when it's uh, done I like to truly use an anti seize in this regard in every joints and uh, clamps that I'll use in this. This is just to prevent uh, any rusting or any type of seizing in the process long term. So it's a lot easier to remove it and uh, easy enough to just, uh, you know, be able to take them all off and uh, won't struggle doing so. So anyways, guys, that's just a tip for you. Hope uh, this helps. Well, now it's time to install. We'll uh, start with the mid pipe here and start from here and work our way all the way down that way. And we'll keep everything loose so that way we could easily adjust it as we go. Well, I just want to show you guys what we have so far. Show you guys what I have so far. I've tightened all the bolts pretty much. Um, just kind of leveling everything so that way it looks nice. As you guys can see, the um, the tips are just being tested there right now. It looks pretty straight. So getting those tightened now. All the uh, the joints there, the um, the band clamps. Um, so tighten this up now. Tighten it more later on, but uh, definitely maybe we can torque uh, them as well if I can find a torque spec in the process. But anyways, the last bit would be is to try and get those tips now lined up and uh, we can go for a test drive. Stay tuned. Well, guys, it's time to torque everything up pretty much here. Um, so it looks like it's 60 foot pound for every single one of these bolts. So we're going to torque it at 60 foot pound. So anyways. Seems a lot, but I guess we just have to follow the specs. Ladies and gentlemen, and it's done now. Beauty. The new cut pack is all in place. Beautiful stainless steel. Anyways, we're going to do the uh, first start, cold start, and uh, I want you guys to hear how good it is. <laughs> 